10 Best Things to Do in Amsterdam Amsterdam, popularly and colloquially known as the Venice of the North, is the capital and a very populated city of the Netherlands. Amsterdam is found within the Dutch province of North Holland and has a large number of canals. The very reason behind it being referred to as the Venice of the North, Amsterdam which during the 17th century became one of the most important ports in the world during the Dutch Golden Age originated originally as a small fishing village in the late 12th century. However, when you plan a visit here, a common question that arises is what to do in Amsterdam and which places are worth going for? As an answer to this, it would be best to say that Amsterdam has endless things to offer at any time of the year and at any weather. It offers you with fun and fascination at every place that you plan to visit. And this accounts to be the primary reason that people visit this place again and again. The place offers creativity, offers you world-famous nightlife and party scenes, awes you with its genre-defining museums, presents you with the hub of cafes, restaurants, along with its rich history and culture. The top 10 best things to do in Amsterdam are Ride a bike Riding bikes in Amsterdam are pretty common as traffic vans are quite hectic. Plus, if you are a bike lover and choose to cycle in any city, make sure it's Amsterdam. This Dutch capital is a popular cyclist's playground, where bikes outnumbering the people is a very usual sight. Amsterdam is known to have some awesome scenic places that are best suitable for bike rides. Even if you're on a day's trip out of the city, make it sure to bike through the lushy forest. If you're in search of peaceful and quiet places in Amsterdam, the city has plenty of green spaces and beautiful scenic routes to take your bike. A place known as Green Route offers stimulating cycling routes for outdoor lovers. You can also ride your bike through Amsterdam's most famous district, Jordan, and cycle through the nine streets. Boat Tour Amsterdam is a totally romantic and dreamy city. It seems tiny and massive all at once. The city is incredibly dense and has all the charm you'd assume from a small town. Part of that implausible character comes down to one of the city's most quintessential details, that are the canals. When on a visit to the city, you must plan for a cruise trip to experience the history of Amsterdam's waterways. Among some famous boat trip, the Amsterdam Canal Bus is a perfect way for visitors to discover Amsterdam. The bus boat travels through Amsterdam's canals while stopping at all key attractions, like his Rembrandt Square and Albert Kuyp. You can also opt for the Lover's Canal Cruise, which also takes visitors through some of Amsterdam's key sites on its day canal cruise. When doing a canal cruise in December or January, you're also treated with some beautiful illuminated artworks during the Amsterdam Light Festival. Visit a museum. Amsterdam is home to many numbered museums, like the Rijk Museum, the Van Gogh Museum, and the Stedelijk Museum, the Royal Concert Bow, etc. Visiting a museum is a common cultural of Amsterdam. The Rijk Museum is the largest of Amsterdam's big three museums. There are plenty of galleries presenting golden age paintings and over 8,000 masterworks are on regular display in this museum. The museum's chronological trot displays model ships, rich costumes along with Asian art figures, from Middle Ages to Mondrian. You can also visit the other museum, namely the Nemo Museum or the Mako Museum. Plus, if you are interested, Amsterdam also holds museum nights on the first Saturday of November. During this time, the museums are open throughout the night where workshops are held along with musical tours. Visit a market. From food and flowers to furniture and fashion, the markets of Amsterdam are the unsurpassed places to trot. This street market of Albert Kuypstraat has been the same for over 100 years. This market is one of the largest in Europe consisting of 260 stands selling fruit, vegetables, fish, flowers, clothing and more. This Kuypstraat market is open from Monday to Saturday and you can load up your baskets with fresh fruits, vegetables, cheeses, fish, fabrics, leather goods, jewelry, street food and assorted knickknacks. You can also visit the No Order Market of Amsterdam. Saturday stalls in this market are a haven for delicious organic produce including honey, cheese and homemade cakes along with antique books and vintage fashion. You can also visit Ijhalen Market famous for its short and free ferry ride along with all the fascinating things on display. Anne Frank House When in Amsterdam, do plan a visit to this Anne Frank House. The only thing that stands out about this 17th century canal house is the infamous line outside. This home is the most poignant among all the other city museums. The emotional exhibits of this house along with the attic where Frank's family hid during the Nazi attack is absolutely worthy any crowd-related hassles. It also has the reminiscence of the time and place when and where Frank wrote her diary. 
It takes about an hour to complete a loop of the house, but every corner of this house still holds every part of Anne Frank's life. No matter how much you think you know about Anne Frank's story, when you visit this place, you'll realize that it's very less. The house reveals every inch of her life. Visit De Wallen. When on a trip to Amsterdam, make sure to visit De Wallen for sure. Making tours of Amsterdam's red light district area aren't hard to find. The place is a world in itself and reveals numerous stories from the perspective of the sex workers. Run by a non-profit motive, the Prostitution Information Center, or PIC, aims to inspire an open debate about the misunderstood industry and increase respect for sex workers. Guides are either ex-sex workers ready to open about their own stories, or researchers on the industry who can answer literally any question from how much money you can make in a shift to the ancient origins of the trade. After paying your visit here, you can visit the Gothic church that's located in this area. This church, the Oude Kirk, was consecrated in 1306 and is the oldest surviving building of the church. This church is famous for its architectural qualities. Heineken Market Heineken is among the three largest beer producers in the world. This brewery was first established during the 1860s. Heineken's rich and popular history has been presented in their old non-operational brewery in Amsterdam. With several amusement parks added to the display, this market was renamed as Amsterdam Heineken Experience. In 1988, Heineken closed an old Amsterdam brewery and opened a tour for the fans for its beer. With the trivial admission charge, you could learn many things about the famed Pilsner and drink as much as you want. The architecture of the 19th century Heineken brewery building is authentic interiors. Its old photographs and state decorations remain exciting and interesting. Sky Lounge the Sky Lounge is also a good place to visit in Amsterdam. It's positioned on the 11th floor of Doubletree of Hilton Amsterdam Central Station, where you will discover the vibrant spots with a panoramic view of Europe's most bustling and lively capital city. During the daytime, the Sky Lounge of Amsterdam offers you the best spot for appointments, meetings, or a little catch-up. However, after the sun sets as the volume of people coming here goes up, the DJs and cocktail shakers turn the Sky Lounge into an energetic and sparkling lounge bar. Plus, to ensure that Sky Lounge remains accessible for all, the authorities of the place do not take any reservations. This facility provides you with the opportunity to go to this place anytime you prefer during opening hours. Go shopping. In Amsterdam, shopping is also a very good option, as you can always drop by shopping malls and shopping centers. From classic clothing stores to trendy high street fashion, this city has something to offer for everyone. The best places to shop for upscale luxury and classic brands there are the eminent departmental stores like the Bijan Corf and Mason de Bonetteri. To buy high street brands like Calverstraat is a great option. At this street, you can buy all the large clothing chains you find in every city around the world. Another very distinct shopping area in Amsterdam is the Dinegen Stratis or the Nine Streets. It has a historic attraction on its own and is a favorite shopping area of Amsterdam's yuppies and hipsters. It's a home to all fashionable and trendy designer boutiques for men and women. Royal Palace The Royal Palace of Amsterdam, which is situated on Dam Square, is still a very famous center of Amsterdam where people love to visit. This Royal Palace was originally built as a city hall for the magistrates of Amsterdam. During the 17th century, the palace was the largest secular building of Europe. Today, the Royal Palace is used for organizing royal events like reception of the foreign heads of state during their visits. This palace is well known for its architecture and history, just like many other European palaces. This palace was even thought to be the 8th wonder of the world. So now that we've come to the end of this video, till we meet again, keep traveling, keep loving, keep supporting us guys, and don't forget to keep your family safe. Thank you for watching this video. Adios.